All right, guys, welcome back to another Grow to the Earth Day. Today, we're gonna to be doing something completely and utterly different than we've ever done. Uh, this is something that I've actually been researching, and I think that it may help us here in the garden. And now you're looking at this big bale here, and you're wondering what exactly that is. Well, the reason we've got this today is because we're going to be putting in a core into our garden. And we're gonna be doing it in this bed here, and I've been doing some research over the summer because I always have an issue with our garden drying out very, very quickly. Uh, you know, the, the sun, the, the heat here in the summertime is pretty outrageous. And the beds just dry out so fast that we can't seem to keep them moist for more than a day or two to where our garden grows very well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a core. And what this amounts to is, instead of adding compost into the top layer of your garden, and letting that be your moisture capture, we're actually going to put this straw down about six inches. And what that's gonna do is it is going to absorb that moisture and then release it. It's kind of like a time release thing. And I haven't actually done anything with this before. I've done a lot of research about it. I've read about it. I've watched a couple of videos on it. And I think this is really gonna help us. Now, just because you haven't done it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. And, you know, sometimes you just need to try something that's out of your normal to see if maybe that works better for you. Because, especially in my garden, we're all about making it easier to garden and making sure that we can grow a productive garden year after year after year. And anything that I can do to help that is going to be, you know, what I'm going to do to help myself be pro more productive and also to be able to have more vegetables, not only for my family, but also for the people that we share with. So now, you know, dig gardeners, please click away right now. You're not going to like this because what we're going to do is we're going to dig a trench right down the center of this. Now, I know what some of you guys are saying. We've been told year after year after year, do not put any uncomposted material in your garden. It's, not go it's going to rob the nitrogen and it's going to kill your plants. That's very true, except for we're going to put this stuff about six inches down. We're going to put six inches of good soil on top of it, and that is going to keep that from robbing the nitrogen that our plants are going to need. And actually, as it breaks down, which this is going to break down, but it's going to break down very slowly because it's in the soil, number one, and every time we water, we're gonna replenish that water instead of just running down through our garden beds. Now we're gonna be able to capture that in this straw to be released as it's needed. And it's not gonna rob the nitrogen because our plant roots are not gonna make it down that far. Now, you can plant right on top of it with shallow rooted stuff, uh, but typically you're gonna to plant to either side of it so that way your plants can reach into there and grab that, that water. So what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna go ahead and dig our trench in and then I'm gonna bring you back whenever we've done that. All right guys, so we're back and uh, you notice we got our trench dug here. Now I've only got about half of this dug out because we actually have a, a piece of wood that runs with, uh, about the middle of our beds because they're so long that when we first made them, they were starting to spread. So we put that board in there to kind of hold them together and I figured that was a good dividing point. That way we can see the difference between what's growing on this side of the, that, that wood and what's growing on the other side of that wood. So that way we can do a compare and contrast to see if we're actually getting better production out of this half of the bed and whether or not this bed took less water throughout the grow season. Now this is something that you will have to redo uh, probably once a year but it, you're gonna get so many more benefits from it because as that straw breaks down, it's actually gonna add more, more organic material to your, your beds because uh, the next year as you dig this out, you're gonna be moving all of that to the top, putting more straw down the, down the center and then moving that dirt back on top. And that's what you're actually gonna be growing in the next year on the very top. Uh, also, you're adding organic material to, the, to your bed, which is going to draw in your, your worms and all your, your bugs and your, all that nice stuff. And even though this straw is kind of neutral, 
it's still going to bring in the bacteria. And it's going to be a slow working anaerobic bacteria where it's going to break down very slowly and it's going to preserve all those nutrients real nice for you. So let, we're, we're, we're going to open up. We've got our straw here and uh, we're just going to open it up here. And of course, with it being a bale, we've got some nice uh, heavy duty straps. Now, I actually went and bought this from Tractor Supply, not a sponsor, um, because that was pretty much the only place I could find that had this available. Uh, you know, in your area, wherever you're growing at, you may have farmers that have this, this straw baled up. Uh, around here in this area, most of the farmers actually turn the refuse from their crop back into the ground uh, to save on their fertilizer costs, but I know that there are some uh, people that do not do that, and they bail it up just like this here, and uh, you know that's how we have this. But unfortunately, in my area, this is not something that that uh, is very prevalent. Uh, so I actually had to to pay for this uh, at the the store. Um, you know, ideally, you would get some of this from a local grower. Um, and that would would help, uh, you know, with the cost associated with it, and also with, uh, you know, you're you're keeping local local. So again, we're just going to spread this along. You know, we're going to get a nice little piece of a. We're going to get a nice uh, even layer of straw in this. And uh, now from what I understand, it doesn't really matter what type of straw it is, you know, what exactly it comes from, but just that it is a, a straw because it's gonna stay a lot moister and it's going to deal a lot better with uh, holding, holding that moisture and breaking down very slowly. Now you don't really need to break this up or anything like that because what you're gonna do is you actually wanna bury this hole. So now that we've got this straw going through the center of our bed, we've got this core in here, you just simply have to cover it up. Um, do that as you will. But uh, what this is also gonna do for you guys is, wow, it's kinda messy. Um, it's going to, add, going to add the bulk back to your beds. If you're an organic gardener, you know that as you garden in this stuff, in the, in the dirt, and you add compost, compost to it, it breaks down and your beds actually kind of sink. You'll notice that your beds are not as full next year. So with this, this is actually going to uh, take up some of that space and it's gonna add a little more bulk to your garden to make your beds look fuller and, and so forth. Uh, actually, when I was digging this trench out, I had to put some of that, uh, that material in here and I may bring some of that back to, to, to top this bed off, but that was what I had to do to be able to have that trench still available there. It kept wanting to cave back in on itself. So now again, the, the whole thing is we want to make sure that this is down in our bed. We don't want this stuff right up, up towards the surface. We want this at about six inches down because what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us an area to grow into to where we're not gonna have that straw robbing the nitrogen from our, our, uh, our plants. So let's get to covering this up. I'm gonna put you guys at high speed so you're gonna have to sit here and watch me do this and I'll be right back. Now you, uh, you guys who garden in, uh, in pots, don't feel left out because you can do the same thing in pots. 
All you gotta do is you wanna put that with just a little layer of, of soil in the bottom of that pot, put your straw in and then put your dirt on top of that. And it'll basically do the same thing. It's going to release that, that water and it's gonna hold on to that water because I know we've got some stuff that's in pots and that stuff dries out super, super quick because it's all above ground and you've got to deal with the heat and the, the, the wind and everything sucking the moisture out of that out of that pot. And I think that would be a great solution for that. So guys, I appreciate you coming and joining me today. This uh, today was about change and it's about change not only in ourselves, but in our garden because through God, we can change just like we changed over this garden and the way that we change our approaches to things in the, way, in the way that we do things and in the way that we look at things out in this world. So guys, I appreciate you joining me today. I want you to pray over your family, pray over your garden, and have a great day.